as our discussion with city planning were that if someone wants to build a residential area and they, you know a block away from a sewage dump and you know factories and warehouses you know there's really not much that can be done as far as zoning for a single a single lot like that but if we're talking about a neighborhood rezoning I think that's something that city planning would entertain I, they just got done in RC they did it in Chips Bay they did it in Madison Marine why not Garrison Beach all right so we'll look into that but uh, the the point Bill, I thank you. I know we give you a high time on that. It's like, okay. The, the fact is, I don't mind, but the listen, fact I is, don't want to be on his property, but we're trying to get up back onto the Marine Corps property because a new colonel just came to that. That's why we had to get off because they, they changed the hands. But if we go, if we get the new colonel's permission and we go back to the seaplane ramp, then I'm off his property. But as Gene said, uh, we got like we have maybe a time frame of a year. Go However, go, we're not stopping or helping Jamal. You can send him all the tickets. We wrote letters to the DEC to ticket them. But didn't you, your organization, indicate to DEP that you were going to remove the toxic docks? We would remove the docks if he paid us to remove the docks. But you we sent, you the sent the a letter that votes. stopped the fine situation. You can give them all the fines you want. Well, we can go around in circles now. So, anyhow, so the neighborhood is not going to be worth anything. Okay, it's uh, 10 p.m. We're going around in circles. He just said money is money. He's getting reimbursed for the boats he takes out. Where am I getting reimbursed? When they flush it. Okay, it's like taking a car away from. Uh, the boats are not made out of metal. There is no recyclable plastic. It's fiberglass. I don't believe it. You can believe whatever you want. I know you're not doing anything. You want to hang out with me. You know you're doing it. All right, well, let's, let's get back to order. It's 10 p.m. Uh, Good meeting. Keep it going. Bill, thank you. We're going to we gotta move on. We'll give you at another meeting. If you come fine tune it and want to talk, we'll talk about uh, the rezoning. I'll get as much information as I can. We'll go to that. In the meantime, we've got an issue that has come up. I don't know. Do you have about a quorum? We don't have a quorum. No. 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 Everybody, by a show of hands, please raise your hand if you're a member of the Property Owners Association. Property. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-four, 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 twen
you still wind up getting food. The only thing you have to pay for is uh, is beer. Otherwise, there's plenty of food inside. Uh, I also have, if anybody's interested, there'll be a uh, grand prize raffle. There's only 300 tickets that are going to be sold at $20 each. If all the tickets are sold, somebody will uh, win $3,000. Otherwise, it goes to a 50-50 you know, of the tickets sold. So if anybody's interested, I have a flyer registration form in the back, and I also have raffle tickets on me tonight. And just to let you know, last last year we were able to raise over sixteen thousand dollars, and that's that's the help of the community. So, small community, but they you know they come together for for you know for everything. So thank you.